So, as a voice that speaks for many voices, I now formally endorse the statement from the heart on behalf of the Archdiocese of Brisbane. Today we have had an opportunity to hear Dean's talk, his words on the Uluru statement from the heart. If we look at the situation in Australia, some Australians are still excluded. And first among these are our First Nations peoples. First Nations peoples have in many ways been turned into refugees in the land that they have called home for many thousands of years. The statement is a very important document that calls for leadership and discussion and reflection by Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander leaders. Our role is not to do things on behalf of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples, but to listen to them, to learn from them, and to accompany them and support them to determine their own future. In 1967, Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples were counted for the first time. And now they seek to be heard. The Uluru Statement from the Heart invites us all to walk with Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples in a movement of the Australian people as a whole for a better future for this nation. So as Archbishop, I call on all people of good will and good intention to support the journey of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples by endorsing the Uluru Statement from the heart and putting it into action in every way possible. And may God, who has begun this good work in us and in many others, bring it to fulfilment. Amen. Amen.